guys and welcome back to my channel so it is your girl Sierra here we are back with this video this is an all matte makeup tutorial you guys I haven't done a tutorial in so freaking long I decided to sit down and kind of like film this easy you like your go-to kind of like every day goes with everything type of makeup tutorial we're not using any highlight or anything like that you know we just gonna glow from within I'm gonna show you guys a few products that I have been using it to help with prepping my skin for my makeup whenever I do my makeup I don't do my makeup on a daily basis but I do like to prep my skin to make sure that I am always using some type of moisturizer some type of cleanser and toners and stuff like that to make sure that my makeup application is very easy when I want to put on makeup so that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today I hope that you guys like tutorials like this because I like making tutorials and I like like talking about the products that I'm using and things like that but I know that it gets a little repetitive when you're doing tutorials so let me know if you guys like this down in the description box and uh, this is the makeup tutorial that we're going to be doing today it's super simple and super easy and it's super duper glam I'm, I'm living for I'm living for all of this like but um besides that we're gonna jump right into the video because listen I got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to be telling y'all about this look how I got it what I've been doing yeah we're gonna go get into this makeup story cuz I know y'all want to see this cuz if I was me I would want to see this too okay you guys so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit of skincare that I have been doing recently for the past I want to say about two weeks so I've been using the Fenty skin products that she just launched. I actually ordered them the day before they were supposed to launch. So I got them kind of around the time where they it actually launched like a couple of days after it actually launched. So I've been using it for about I, I want to say about two weeks now and I have been seeing a huge change in like my skin and just how it's been looking overall so I wanted to incorporate this in the video because uh, this is an all matte makeup tutorial so I wanted to show you guys how I actually got my makeup to look really good underneath because I feel like it's very important for you to understand that underneath all of the makeup you still need to take care of your skin because that's what makes everybody's makeup look flawless so I just wanted to incorporate this into this video because it's very 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 important I did show you guys a video uh, I want to say a couple of days ago on my Instagram if you do not follow me on Instagram please follow me my social media handles will be up somewhere on the screen but yes I did show you guys um, my makeup the other day and I didn't have a filter on it so I wanted to show you guys like what my actual makeup looked like and it looked really really good I'll insert a video of it uh, showing what it looked like and my skin was glowing and I did not have on any highlight like it was crazy like I was just like wow like this 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 whole these little three little starters that she got going on I'm telling y'all they are super duper bomb so I'm going to show you guys the three skincare starters that she started with and I just want to like you know show you guys what I've been doing how I've been doing it you know give you guys a little bit of insight on things what things to buy you know what things you could kind of like hold out on but honestly I really think y'all should get all three of them but you know I know it's quarantine it's you know all of this stuff going on and everybody ain't got no money like that but yeah so I just wanted to show you guys the first thing is the total cleanser that she has and this is a remove all cleanser okay so with the total cleanser or whatever like you first have to wet your face and then apply the uh, and then apply the cleanser so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wet my face really quickly and then I will come back and show you guys what I do with this total uh, cleanser okay you guys my face is all wet and ready to apply the cleanser so I'm just gonna apply some in my hand you don't need a lot because I'm telling you all of this stuff goes a very long way when it comes to applying the stuff on your face so I'm just gonna get a little bit of water and then moisturize it into my skin and this cleanser is super duper creamy it's not as soapy as people think it is but it's super duper creamy and it helps with removing makeup and just like a daily cleanser that doesn't strip my face um and doesn't leave my face like super super duper dry so what i like to do is i just like to apply this and kind of moisturize it into my skin for about 30 seconds or maybe 
30 to 60 seconds actually and I like to like just moisturize uh, like work it into my skin and make sure I'm getting all of the dirt or makeup off of my face which I don't have any makeup on my face <laughs> right now because you know we're gonna put makeup on there but if you have makeup on your face you definitely could use this to remove the makeup and as you guys can see like my skin is like super duper clean super duper smooth and it didn't like dry my skin out to the point where I have like dry patches because I usually get like dry patches around my mouth area and like maybe like right here and stuff but it's not so much really really super dry this leaves my skin so freaking soft like it's just it's amazing so the next thing is the Fenty skin uh, fat water the pore refining toner uh, serum so it's a toner and a serum in one so it's super hydrating oh my god it's so hydrating you guys and it has hyaluronic acid in it so it's gonna be a perfect base for your moisturizer to stick onto and it leaves your skin with like this subtle like just nice looking glow so what I like to do is pat it in move it around and pat it in get it all over my face and just pat it in and let it sink into my skin and they do have a fragrance you guys like it's like a fragrance smell so she used like these Barbados cherries in all of her ingredients or whatever so it's gonna have like a floral kind of fruity smell I know that I've read some of the reviews on there where it said that the fragrance was breaking a lot of people out but it hasn't done anything to my skin that like made me be like oh my god I gotta stop using this you can use all of these products day and night so that's like a, a, a plus there um, but as far as the as the fat water goes I was kind of skeptical about buying this because I was like okay it's a toner people always say that toner is kind of like remove uh, like dark spots and hyperpigmentation and stuff like that so I was kind of skeptical but it ha I have like this spot right here where I burn myself and it is literally clearing up y'all like it's been there for fucking ever and it's it's clearing up like for real and all of these other little spots these are my like birth little spots these are freckles stuff like that that's not gonna ever go away so as far as this fat water goes I absolutely love 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 this fat water because it just really absorbs like it just absorbs the dryness and the oil up in my skin it's just so good y'all like for real like it really really is and it has been helping with like my little tiny little dark spots and like little little areas where I um, may have popped a pimple or something and you know the little dark spots are there and I might do a video on that just showing from the first day that I used it to maybe maybe a month from now um just to see how this little area works with this uh with this toner so that toner is really really good so the last thing is the Fenty skin moisturizer so this moisturizer y'all it has SPF in it so you don't have to do an extra step all you have to do is use this it moisturizes your skin and protects your skin from the Sun even when you do have makeup on and it leaves your skin glowing looking healthy and it smells really really good so I'm just gonna massage this into my skin and you guys this also does not leave a white cast or like film on your face when you apply it because it has the SPF in it that's a plus so you won't like <laughs> you won't see any whiteness looking stuff on your face when you're like applying makeup or when you're just using it in general because it just goes out to be like really clear so and it gives my skin like this really 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 nice glow like it's really really healthy so I really love that about it I also like to push this into my skin too once I've rubbed it in a little bit I like to like just mash it in there so it just stays on top of my skin for my base for my makeup even though we're doing a night look you guys we still want to moisturize we still want to protect our skin so you need something that's going to be a barrier between your makeup and your skin okay as far as all three of these go you guys honestly i think the thing that i'm going to tell you to get the most is probably this 
cleanser this total this total cleanser this is some good shit okay like i said before like this removes makeup it removes any dirt it's off of your skin like it just does a lot a lot a lot you could use this day and night and it's not going to strip or make your skin super dry and then the other thing that i would suggest honestly is the moisturizer because it has spf in it which if you are in a hot state like i am i'm in texas it's always freaking hot here so we need spf on our skin even though even though you're dark skin if you are dark skin okay this is for my little dark skin girls or anybody that has any color we still need spf we can still get sunburn okay we can still get sunburn so we need that spf on our skin even when we have makeup on okay even when we have makeup on that's not the barrier for this skin okay we need moisturizer and SPF so I would highly recommend this this leaves your skin looking so glowy and healthy I highly recommend it and all of her products honestly you guys like they when I got them she gave me a discount so I don't know what the price is right now but they they're all of them were like 20 something dollars which is not bad for really high-end quality skincare so I just advise if you want to get to those two things that I recommended the fat water is just an extra extra step that I would like you know if you do have hyperpigmentation or if you do have dark spots I would suggest that as well but all three of the products are really really bomb okay so I'm just letting you guys know and they've been doing my skin so much justice and so that is this part of the video so now we're going to move on to the makeup okay you guys I did my brows off camera because listen I yeah it's a video somewhere that I have shown you guys how I do my brows I actually kind of want to do a tutorial on like those bushy brows and stuff and like you know making them look real like exotic and stuff like that so let me know it down in the comments or just like this video if you want to see that type of video or you want to see something like that um but yeah like my brows are done you guys and we're about to get up into this tutorial so i wanted to do like a all matte makeup look because they are so easy they are so simple and actually i think it just looks really flattering on everybody because i mean who doesn't like that natural natural born <laughs> this is what I woke up looking like type makeup okay first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my eyes with this uh, P Louise base and it's in rumor four so this P Louise base you guys like honestly it is so freaking good I'm gonna tell you why it's so bomb because honestly it really helps with the pigmentation of your makeup like I'm not even joking so you don't need a lot because it's super thick, like it's super duper thick. Uh, you don't need a lot. You can, you know, take a little tiny, tiny amount and then just spread that all over your lid. It just helps with the vibrancy of the shadows. And I only use this brush, you guys. This is a buffer brush. This is a Morphe M173 brush 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 <laughs> that I use and I just you know buff that out and it just makes it uh, spread out evenly uh, for my shadows so once I apply my primer you guys I'm actually going to set it with some translucent powder so that it's like my actual skin tone and the color of the base so it'll be easier for my eyeshadows to to blend with so I'm just going to take um, this air spun loose face powder and just tap it like on my eyelid just to set this base and it's okay I'm just gonna set my base and then dust all of that stuff off on my on the rest of my face okay once the primer is all set you guys we can jump right into this eyeshadow look I'm actually going to be using the morphe what, what palette is this the morphe b 18 palette and you guys I have been neglecting this palette I honestly forgot that I even had this palette but y'all this palette is so pretty and it has a couple of neutral tone shades that I can use up in here to give this um, all matte look so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this shade right here I'm gonna pop that shade right in the crease area to give it a transition I cannot talk lately. I have not been able to talk lately. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, girl. But you gonna you gonna have to you gonna have to start learning how to talk. But 
I'm actually, but anyways, I'm actually just using this as a transition shade so that it kind of like melts into my eyebrow. Well, the bottom of my eyebrow where I actually cleaned it up at. So it's just gonna flow into that little area. And this is a Morphe B81 brush that I'm using. The next shade I'm gonna use is this shade right here. It's kind of like a taupey brown. And I'm gonna use the same brush, you guys, and I'm just gonna dip it into that shade and work that in my crease as well. So this is gonna be super blown out and just look really, really natural, matte, and pretty. Then next to deepen up the crease, you guys, I'm actually gonna use this shade right here. This is gonna be like on the outer V of my eye, like it's gonna, it's gonna give it a little bit of depth so that it doesn't look like too bland. And like I said, I'm just slightly working this into the outer V area. And I'm just going to bring it upwards a little bit and kind of like wing it out of the out there. I'm not being too precise with this either because I just want it to look effortless. Then I'm just going to take another brush that's clean and kind of run over it so that it diffuses into the other eyeshadows. And then what I do is I'm just going to pack and blend, pack and blend until I get it to my desired look okay you guys and that is it for the tutorial and no, i'm just playing but that's it for the eyes you guys i didn't do too much it was three little eyeshadow i what it was three little eyeshadows and i just applied them real quick real soft but that's it y'all that's that's all i'm doing to my eyes and so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use this urban decay provision um mascara and i'm gonna apply a little bit to my eyelashes for my falsies and then i'm just gonna let that dry a little bit you guys because i don't like to apply it as soon as i put my mascara on i don't like to apply my lashes as soon as i put my mascara on so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wait for a second for lashes i'm using the ardell wispy lashes these are my last pair but i'm gonna use these and i'm going to apply them to my i'm gonna apply them to my eyelashes that's where they go but you can use any type of glue you guys i like to use um i actually like to use the dang i can't even see it because it's like rubbed all off but i'm i think it's sassy eyelash glue or something like that no this is not hair glue i'm not i don't put hair glue on my eyelashes as you shouldn't either because it will take all of your lashes out by the way but um i'm just gonna use this and pop these eyelashes on really quickly and then we're gonna go on to the face so i'm gonna pop these on real quick and i'll be right back okay you guys eyelashes are on so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to use this milani stay put matte 17 hour liquid eyeliner and i'm just going to line the top of my eyelashes so that the actual band does not show even though these lashes are super thin they're easy to hide uh the band but i want to make sure that you can't see nothing okay so i'm just gonna apply this eyeliner over top i'm not gonna do a wing liner or anything like that i'm literally just gonna apply it over top so that you can't see the band yeah i literally have to like hold my breath for that shit, like for real and then what i like to do just to volumize my eyelashes I like to apply more mascara on my actual eyelashes and then apply on my um, false lashes so that my eyelashes and the falsies can blend together. Okay, so on to the veins, on to the face. Okay, so for my primer, my primer, you guys. This stuff is so good. It's hydrating and it helps with keeping your makeup locked on, okay? This is the Milk Hydrator, uh, the, what? The Milk Hydro Grip Primer, okay? And I just take a couple of little pumps, like maybe two and a half, and then I like to apply it all over. And with the moisturizer, it's not gonna show a white cast. Like I said, you guys, that moisturizer is not gonna allow your primer or anything that you put on your face after 
to have like a white cast or anything. And then I just tap it everywhere into my skin. Yeah, my mama just called me. I know she don't want nothing if she answered the phone. She just called me three minutes ago. Now she don't want to answer the phone. Why she called me right back? That's crazy. But anyways, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move on to foundation. So this foundation, y'all, that I'm about to show y'all is insanely matte insanely full coverage okay and it's the juvia's place i am magic velvet matte foundation and i am in the shade 230 macau so i'm just gonna apply some on my finger and dot it all over you do not need a lot of this okay because it's insanely crazy with the coverage and i'm just going to use this morphe 439 brush y'all look how matte this shit is like it's literally covering up every little single spot on my face if you don't have this foundation i don't know where the hell you have been but this foundation is so good don't forget to drag it down your neck make sure you get in between your eyebrows on your forehead and if you have a uh, frontals y'all like i just advise to like be like super careful with your frontals like i literally like just kind of like tap tap at it and that's it i don't really like drag it down or anything like that or try to get it onto the lace this shit just covered my whole <laughs> it just covered my whole entire existence okay okay moving on to concealer so i'm going to use two different concealers i'm going to use the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade cappuccino and then i'm going to use the bobbi brown instant full coverage concealer in the shade almond so i'm going to use the bobbi brown one first because this one is like super duper thick and it's super hard to blend out that's why i actually am going to use the nyx one to help with the blending because if you allow this to sit it is gonna sit and it's gonna be just like this and you're not gonna be able to blend it out so i just like to add this because it actually is a little bit more on the darker side so it's gonna help with the actual look that i want with my with my uh, concealer so i'm actually gonna use a brush today you guys i'm not gonna use my beauty blender at all because all of them are freaking dirty i'm just going to pat this in i'm not necessarily like sweeping it and moving it around because i want it to stay in place where i put it but i'm going to tap it and kind of drag it out towards the side of my eye and both of these concealers are like super full coverage like one of them is just a little bit more on the higher end side the bobby brown is just a little bit more on the higher end side but they both work so well on the skin and they just blend out so easily and effortlessly like look at that look at that mm. and then i'm just gonna apply some on my the bridge of my nose and then I'm going to use this Morphe M149 brush to blend it out. And then what I like to do as like an extra step to help with everything blending together since we put the foundation on and then we put the concealer on, I like to take my brush and actually stipple around those edges where I put the concealer so that it blends with my uh, foundation that I put down and uh, you can use your beauty blender for this as well so see see mm. and then my skin is glowing because of that Fenty y'all I'm telling you that Fenty she always doing something she always doing something she always trying to take people money she always trying to take people money girl what I like to do next before I apply my setting powder i like to contour if i'm going to contour or whatever like contouring is something that i don't usually usually do like all the time but for the sake of this video that's what i'm going to do i'm using the morphe um dimension effect 
contour stick um, in the shade Effect 18. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to apply it just like this to make sure it blends upwards so that I can blend it and make sure that I'm blending upwards because I want my cheeks to be chiseled, okay? So I'm just gonna use this stippling brush. This is the Morphe 404 brush. And I'm gonna blend this out. Who is texting me? I'm gonna blend this out, y'all. Blend, 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 blend. And then I'm gonna actually, I forgot. I'm gonna apply just a tad bit because this frontal is already shrinking my damn big ass forehead. So I'm not gonna put that much on my forehead, but I'm gonna put a little bit on each side and then just a little bit down the center of my nose. This Morphe contour stick, y'all, is so bomb too. Like, I love it because it's super duper creamy. It's easy to blend out. Like, you saw how easy that was to blend out. Like, I'm literally using like the little tiny part of the stippling brush. And the little tiny parts of this stippling brush is just literally like blending it out itself. Okay, so now we can do the setting powder. So I'm just gonna go back to the airspun powder that I use, and I'm actually going to use a uh, I'm actually gonna use a damp beauty blender. So I'm just wetting my beauty blender over here, y'all. I got water over here. I'm just gonna kind of dip it in here like this. I think this is my mom. Hello? I had caused you by accident. Oh. I didn't want that girl. Okay. Okay, so we gonna let that bake real quick. And I'm going to actually apply my bronzer to set my contour. So what I'm using for that is the Morphe Glamazon Face and Body Bronzer. And this is in the shade Leader. So you guys, actually before I do that, I'm actually going to wipe this off. So, like I was saying, I'm going to use this Glamazon bronzer from Morphe, and I'm just going to apply this to um, the areas where I apply my contour. So, just on my forehead, just a little bit, and on the cheekbones, in my face, some depth, and it just makes me look like that's how I make it look. <laughs> but I'm just gonna use a little bit of setting powder and I'm just gonna draw a bunch of my contour to try to make sure that we get it. So I'm just gonna let that sit. Okay, you guys, so after it has set for maybe a minute or two, I have this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless, uh, what is it? Powder, and it's in the shade 360 Mocha. I'm actually gonna get a generous amount and use this to dust that away just to make sure that it doesn't leave like a white shadow or anything, but still show my little contour. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face just to um, blend all of the powder together. We gonna move on to lips. What I have here is this NYX eye pencil and I'm gonna use it as a lip liner. You could do that, okay? I'm using it in the shade black brown because I kinda want it to look dark. So I'm just gonna align my lips with this and I like to line my lips sometimes and make like a certain shape out of them. And I don't like to overdraw my lips or anything like that because my lips are already full. Y'all, this looks black, but it's not, I promise. And then I'm going to use the Fenty, what is this? The Fenty um, Plush Matte Lipstick in Up To No Good. This is like my favorite now. Like I love this, I love this little lipstick. And I'm just gonna apply that in the middle and go like this. And then I like to wrap my lips together. Then I'm gonna just do some setting spray so that all of it can set even though it is a matte look. I just want everything to set into my skin so that it's not moving around. And what I'm going to use is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, you guys. It's almost gone. As you guys can see, I am in love with this because I have been using the disc like a lot generously so I'm just gonna apply this especially around my eye area especially around my eye area because I don't want my eyes to look like super duper dry and then once this is dry then I'm gonna just go change my clothes you guys and then I'll come back and uh, yeah we're gonna discuss this look because I gotta fix my hair a little bit too so I'll be right back all right you guys so that is it for this video you guys like let me know if you guys like videos like this where I do these tutorials because I haven't done a tutorial like this in so freaking long like I love tutorials but I think Think they get like super repetitive and then people don't like to watch them and then people do voiceovers and then you can't see their personality
personality, all of that other extra stuff. So I like to do videos like this. I like to do tutorials and just, you know, show you guys how I actually do my makeup. Yes, that is it for this video, you guys. I love this matte look. Oh, it's so simple. It's so easy. And it goes with everything. So if you guys like these type of videos, give this video a thumbs up and I will try to do more. Besides that, you guys, please check out Fenty Skin, their website, and um, check out some of their products if you have the time because I'm telling you guys, it will change your makeup freaking game, okay? But that is it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to follow me all on my social media. My social media handles will be up on the screen somewhere. But that's it for this video, you guys. I thank you so much for tuning into this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.